It's your boy King Buzz back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers. And I'm back with another video. Y'all know what's going on. All right, man. I'm going to show y'all how to connect MIDI controllers and how to use your MIDI controllers inside of Mixcraft, right? Let's get into it. First of all, we got to open up Mixcraft, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now that Mixcraft is open, right? Make sure you have your MIDI board set up, all right? I have my Akai Mini, and it has knobs on it and stuff, so that's what I'm going to be using for this tutorial, all right? Now, what I would you do, I will come over to Mix, right? MIDI controller surface, right? Now, I already got some settings right here for, you know, the Akai Mini, but for this one, we're going to do something completely different, you know what I mean? Um, I actually do like the way I got this set up, uh, but for the sake of the video, we're going to act like this isn't set up, you feel me? So, let's say reset all, right? Reset all, boom. Now you do, you hit MIDI learning, and then you select what you want to change, right? So, track one is usually where my beat is. I want to be able to control, uh, I want to be able to control the volume. So I'm going to make it on this knob, right? It's in learn mode, right? We in learn mode. I select it and I start moving the knob that I want to control it. All right. So boom. Now, as you can see, it pops up, right? And then I want the high end, move this knob, low end, move that knob. I mean, that's the mid, then the low end, boom, right? So I got my master volume on one, I got my high end, my mid, and my low end, right? So I can control those at all times from my MIDI controller, right? And let's say I wanted to do, um, let's, let me think, let me think, what else would I, I would wanna use it? Um, track one is usually like, uh track one is usually vocals um and you could do the same thing like volume or whatever or you can come into user interface and then you can have um you see you can set up buttons for save for undo redo you know what i mean you could have your own basically your own shortcut buttons set up in front of you at all times um, different modes, loop mode, you know, have a button. You can have a button for all these things. Transport, play, stop, rewind a bit, you know. Uh, let's say I want to do my other knobs. I'm going to use, um, let's do master volume right here. Let's do master high. Let's do master mid. Let's do master low. All right, boom. Now, y'all see how that is, right? And I have buttons on here too. And my buttons, I can have one for save. So I just hit the button I want to be save, right? I hit the button I want to be uh, redo. Then I can hit the button that I want to be undo, all right? Boom. Uh, also, you can insert audio track, have a button for that. So here is uh, insert audio track. Now anytime I need to insert an audio track, I just hit the button, boom, and I'm good. All right, so that's that's the basics, man. That's really what you do. You come in here, you hit start learning, and you just start. You click on what you want, and then you hit the knobs that you want to do it, right? So let's do stop learning, all right? That's cool, uh, but um, I don't. I already did it. I already set it up. So would you like to say the changes are current? No, I, I want to put it back to how I had it. All right, cool, right? Um, now, say you wanted your MIDI controller to control your um, your your plugins, right? So let's just say my compressor, because I use the compressor for everything. Hit this button, drop down, add add MIDI controller, right? Now I can hit the learn button, right? Learn. I can hit this over here, and I want this knob to control this one over here. Right, so I want this knob to do this one over here. Okay, now hit stop, and as you can see, 
Well, my bad. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me clear this out. Wait, let's just forget this. Let me clear out the MIDI controller. Because you can't have uh, multiple controls going to the same thing, right? So let's just reset, right? So I don't have the MIDI controller on anything right now. Then I come in here, add to MIDI controller, learn. I want this one. I want it on here. Now, as you can see, it's moving as I turn this. This is moving too, okay? Well, you can see it. So let's say I wanted to do that for all of these. Say I wanted this whole row to control what I use the most. So I'll hit plus, add another MIDI controller. Um, we're gonna do learn. We're gonna do uh, the release now. And we're gonna go to release on this one. Bingo, now you here you go. Booyah, you see what I'm saying? And then you just keep going, bro. Add another one for the attack, all right? Uh, well, now nah, I use ratio, so let's do ratio. Do ratio, and then do this one. Hold up, learn, ratio. Come on, man. All right, there we go. Learn, there you go. So this one is this one, this one is that one. This is my ratio. These are the ones I really use. Really, I use the level, I use ratio and threshold. So then I can do another one for the threshold. Hit learn, move this one, and then move this one. All right? So what you do is you hit learn, you move the one you want, and then you move the knob on your MIDI controller that you want to control that one, all right? So as you can see, I have my threshold, I have my ratio. And I got my release right here. I got my levels right here, right? Boom! So, if you got a big old MIDI controller, you can have your MIDI controller controlling everything inside of Mixcraft. And really, I, as I upgrade my studio, I want my studio to be like this. <laughs> you feel me? I want a big old, I'm probably gonna get a MIDI controller to sit next to me you feel me probably have like you know the laptop stands how they kind of lean a little bit have a midi controller sitting on like on a laptop stand next to the desk right have a big old midi controller sitting over there and then i could like have everything going to where i want it to go and then just be controlling everything and i get to the point where i don't even have to open the plug-in i just be hitting changing the knobs oh man i could just think about it now bro that'd be so beautiful bro. <laughs> For real, man. Just thinking about it. But anyways, that's what I wanted to show y'all, man. Just how you set up your MIDI controller to control, you know, your your regular um your regular options inside of Mixcraft, like your playback buttons and your your uh, low end, high end, all that. And you can also use it to control your plugins. You know what I mean? So, boom. There you have it right there, man. There you have it. Y'all want to see how I work with another plugin? Um, what's another plugin? Well, that's a stock plugin, right? So, let's see if we can do it with like something that's not, um, something that's not a Mixcraft plugin. All right, so drop down, boom, MIDI controller, right? Hit learn, and let's see. I want it to control my transition. I want this one. Boom! That simple, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I get, you can literally have. Your MIDI controller controlling every single thing you needed to. This is lit. This is exciting. Uh, shout out to the homie who commented on the video. He asked if I knew how to do this because he already knew how to make his uh, MIDI controller control, you know, like the volume and stuff like that. But he didn't know how to get it to control the plugins. This is how you do it, bro. Shout out to you. If it wasn't for you, this video wouldn't even exist because I wasn't even thinking about this. You know what I mean? I wasn't thinking about it at all. But now that i did i did the video and now it can help y'all and you know even somebody who wasn't thinking about this you might have some piece of equipment laying around that actually has buttons and knobs on it and you can actually integrate it into your studio now so this video is definitely dope and it's definitely going to help some people and a uh, shout out to y'all man make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you like the video make sure you comment make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend man king buzz be dropping all the bangers king buzz out here saving the world a day at a time <laughs> we're gonna keep growing we're gonna keep growing strong y'all know what's going on it's your boy king buzz and i'm out of here yeah. I'm just trying to
trying to do a big man. Six chains, switch lanes. God told me you're about to do big things. I just want a house with a pool for the acres and a mule and a whip like.